Hi, welcome back, Yoram here. You may have seen that on Facebook, but I stopped using Stream Deck with OBS. I actually stopped using Stream Deck at all. Not only did I stop using it, I put it for sale on eBay because now I'm using something else and I'm really excited and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. Well, here's what happened. Microsoft has upgraded Windows to version 20H2 and they insisted on me doing that. That happened a couple of months ago and I did that and everything worked fine except Stream Deck. Stream Deck, just the software, the app that runs in the PC itself stopped working. Now, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I've been using Stream Deck pretty heavily and uh, I really, really relied on it. And so that was a problem. Now, I have to tell you one thing. Stream Deck, Elgato have great technical support. Really, I can't say enough good things about their technical support. So I got somebody on the phone. They helped me, tried to help me, eventually realized that maybe the best thing I could do is roll back my Windows version and I rolled it back to the 2019 version and Stream Deck started working. Well, last week, the same thing happened again. Windows upgraded to the new version, 20H2, but this time it would not allow me to roll back to 2019 because that's not a supported version of Windows anymore. Well, that's a problem. Stream Deck stopped working. Again, I heavily rely on it. So I contacted Stream Deck, uh, Elgato. They started helping me. The first level of support could not help me. They passed it on to the sen second level of support, a more senior technician. So I was waiting to hear from them, but given the reliance I have on Stream Deck and the ability to control uh, my OBS and, and everything that I do remotely from, from this device, that was a problem for me. And so I started searching and I came across this. It's called Touch Portal. And instead of being a hardware device, it's actually an app that runs on my iPad. It is amazing. The possibilities are amazing. It has a lot more functionality than Stream Deck. I have to warn you one thing, though, and that is that using that, using uh, uh, Touch Portal, requires a certain higher level of technical skills even to install it. Took me about 20, 30 minutes. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a few screenshots and, and you'll see even the block diagram. So I created a block diagram for you just so that you'll get a sense of how it fits in. So first of all, this is where Stream Deck, this is not Stream Deck, this is where Touch Portal fits in. So on the left, you can see the iPad. This, this is my iPad and this is pretty much what it looks like. Uh, you can see that it has a lot more buttons. In fact, what you're seeing here is a configuration for 40 buttons. I believe the highest number in one screen because the size of those buttons can change is 110 buttons. You can have up to 110 buttons. You don't have to, you, you determine how many and uh, what they're for. Uh, so far, I did not put any uh, visuals on them, any icons on them, but I do intend to do that. I just uh, wanted to make sure that it works well enough. So it runs here. The basic touch portal is free, and I actually got the free version just to work so that I'll know that uh, it works. And once I did, I upgraded to the pro version. The pro version is really the maximum you can buy from them. And that costs $12.99. Just to remind you, the average Stream Deck cost $150. That's the one that I had with 15 buttons. The smaller one that has only six buttons cost $100. And the larger one that has 32 cost $250. It is hardware, it is connected through USB. This one runs on my iPad. It can connect through USB, but they actually recommended that I use Wi-Fi and I am using my Wi-Fi network. Inside of the PC, and this thing I believe runs on, uh, uh, on uh, Mac as well, the same way, I have an app. So this app comes with it uh, installed on the PC. These two communicate. They do communicate through Wi-Fi, 
and that means that you do have to open a door in your firewall and the instructions are pretty clear and uh, I, I followed it. I actually have McAfee so I didn't even use the Windows firewall and I went through that firewall, opened uh, a window for it here and now these two communicate. You also install something, uh, in a plugin for um, OBS. It's actually a plugin that's not my, made by the same company. It's something that's called WebSocket. And a WebSocket is an app that gives the ability to control OBS remotely. Yes, you heard it right. You can control OBS remotely. What that means is that while right now it's sitting to my left in my iPad, it can actually sit in somewhere completely different. You can control OBS remotely. That has nothing to do with Touch Portal. It's just that you need this plugin to be able to control OBS from the Touch Portal app that is really controlled through the Touch Portal app in the iPad. And then you have the regular connection between your OBS and the Zoom or any other application. Touch Portal can control a lot more than just OBS and that was one of the amazing things. The functionality that it offers is just amazing. I'll switch to the window that kind of gives you a sense of what the app looks like in the PC itself uh, so you'll see uh, what kind of functionality does it have. This is what it looks like. This is what the app looks like in the PC. And you can see that I'm programming the buttons here. Uh, if I go to program another button, so here I have an empty space. If I click on it, these are the type of things that I can do. I can start an application. I can run a batch file, run a shortcut, open a file, open a folder. Those are just things that you can do generally. Navigation, go to page or open a URL. So I can go to a page uh, within the pages in Touch Portal. You can have, I don't think that there's a limit on the number. Then you can put an input. So if we click on input, you can write text, virtual key presses, low level key presses, press and hold key, mouse click, all of those you can e emulate with buttons that you would uh, program in Touch Portal. All kinds of utilities like lock the computer, shut down the computer. You can shut down the computer from a button on your iPad. Uh, I'm, I'm going to skip a few things. Uh, visuals, uh, these are the type of things that you can do uh, visually to the buttons upon something happening. Uh, OBS, so here's what you can do in OBS and some of those things are not available with uh, Stream Deck or the connection that Stream Deck has into... Um, uh, into OBS. Set a profile, set a scene collection, set scene, it has source visibility, control source vis visibility, control the filter. Stream Deck does not let you do that. Set a, a scene filter, streaming state, recording state, uh, set the volume. You can control the volume, increase volume, reduce volume. Just look at the number and, and I'm not going through all of them. And these are conditions that can happen that would affect what uh, the visual looks like. There are other things you can do and uh, I'm sure that there is even more than that. So these are the different buttons. You even have some assets and different things that you can do. So there is a uh, an OBS free. Uh, so this is just a free version that does certain things. Things to control Spotify. Guess what? A set of buttons that would control Zoom, voice meter, Streamlabs, VM Banana. There are a lot of things that can be controlled with this uh, touch portal. And again, the pro versions it's, is $12.99, pretty much unlimited. I'm very excited. I know that I didn't share with you how to download it, how to install it and so on. Obviously, the easiest thing for you if you wanted to do that is just to go to the Touch Portal, I believe it's touch-portal uh, website. Go there, download it, follow uh, the instructions, do it yourself. But in the future, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, record more videos that would show you how I download, how I install, different tricks, what, what are the things that, that I encountered that uh, made me uh, stop, were hurdles. I'll show you how I program keys 
and, and everything else. So I'm, I'm going to shoot more videos uh, because as you can see, I'm very excited with this tool. Uh, I did put my uh, stream deck on eBay. Uh, odds are that uh, by the time you're watching this video, it had already sold, but um, I'm, I'm excited. Again, nothing bad to say about Stream Deck. Definitely not their support. Great company, great product. Very easy to use, very easy to install. If you're ready to a higher level, a little more complex to install, uh, but a lot more functionality, then I would recommend Touch Portal. That's what I've been using. I love using it. And uh, as I said, in the next videos, I'm going to start showing you how to install and how to get it, uh, how to program, how to set it up and how to get it to do exactly what you want it to do. See you on the next video. I recorded this video for you based on what currently exists and what I know right now. But things change, new technology, new products, new software versions, new ideas that I get, some of them from viewers like you. If you want to be informed when I release new videos with new or updated content, subscribe to this channel and get notified when I release them. Oh, and you can also like this video. Also, check out my resources for speakers like you who want to do things yourself at thediyspeaker.com.